Welcome back sa Book Gaming. Guys, for this episode, bibigyan natin ng update itong bagong play-to-earn na League of Ancients. Siguro sa mga new viewers dyan at hindi pa kayo aware dito kay League of Ancients, MOBA game to. Okay, sim- similar sa Dota, Dota 2. Okay, Mobile Legends ay siguro yung mga magandang um, isimilar dito kay um, League of Ancients. No? Uh, League of Legends, ayan yung mga game na right now nalalaro nyo sa mobile device. Pero, itong LOA or League of Ancients is play to earn. And then, under Binance Smart Chain. Okay? So, siguro guys, no, kung um, new viewers pa lang kita at hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe, pahit na lang ng subscribe button, pati na rin ng notification bell, para ma-update ko kayo sa mga latest videos ko. At the same time, ito nga palang book gaming channel is nag upload ng mga bagong play to earn o yung tinatawag natin na budget meal. So, right now guys, ito yung main website ni League of Ancients as mentioned under Binance Smart Chain. Uh, magiging free to play siya, play to earn. And then, um, playable siya sa inyong mobile device. Okay? Don't worry sa mga totally newbie para dito kay Loa. Meron ako nitong overview review. Okay? Um, yung link, ilalagay ko sa description. Pero don't you worry again guys sa mga gustong mag-addict dito sa League of Ancients. Okay? Um, every week naman, i-update ko kayo. Kasi ako din mismo, lalaruin ko itong game na to. Okay? Yung token nito guys, um, LOA token, available na siya sa Pancake Swap. Pwede nyo na makita yung price niya rin sa CoinGecko. Okay? So, siguro guys, no, for, um, for this episode, dito sa League of Ancients, for this update, kasi maraming nag, uh, may message sa akin, maraming nag email sa akin about dun sa naging um, interview. Okay? Nung... Um, Project lead nila na si Dwayne Ong. Siguro maraming naka-miss out sa inyo. Don't worry, uh, meron na, na save ko naman dito sa aking um, computer para at least mapanood nyo. Actually, baka yung mga katanungan nyo, yung mga concerns nyo, no? and then yung mga gusto nyo rin sigurong malaman na update para dito sa League of Ancients um, na tackle dun sa AMA interview nila. Actually, hindi lang to mostly AMA, no? talagang interview na thoroughly. Okay, kaya gusto ko rin na pakita sa inyo para at least magkaroon kayo ng idea kung safe ba si League of Ancients, maganda bang laruin, okay, um, worth it ba na mag-invest para dito sa play to na to. Okay, so with this, papa, uh, ipiplay natin yung um, replay para makita rin ng mga hindi pa nakakapanood. Okay, so with this, alam nyo na, mananahimik na muna ako. Good evening and welcome to the live stream. My name is Warren and I'm your host for tonight. Now, I'm feeling extremely hyped right now because we are going to talk about League of Ancients, otherwise known as LOA. It is an eSports NFT mobile game that is set to launch in the third quarter of 2022. So with me right now is none other than the founder of League of Ancients, Dwayne Ong. Welcome, Dwayne. Hi, guys. I'm Dwayne. Nice to meet everyone and thanks, Warren, for the introduction. So great to have you here tonight, Dwayne. So are you feeling excited, nervous? I'm actually feeling both excited and nervous because this is actually for LA the first time we are doing campaign outside of the crypto community, more towards to the gaming community and also our first move to actually let mobile gamers to know about League of Ancients. Alright, so I heard just now while talking with you before the shoot is that you guys are actually hosting a competition with a prize pool of 175,000 US dollars. That's actually a huge prize pool for a new mobile game that's on the blockchain. And you know what, it makes me super excited as well. And I just want to quickly get to the game and try to win a part of the prize pool. So Dwayne, can you tell us more about League of Ancients and about that tournament? Yes, so actually League of Ancients is developed is actually going to be launching on quarter three. And right now we are running competition in the Dota community. We are setting up a prize pool of 175,000 worth of NFTs and also our tokens. And the idea here is to really get attraction or awareness about bringing mobile onto blockchain and League of Ancient is a game that is inspired by Dota League of Legends a game that I've been playing for 20 years and uh, you know uh, and now right now we have an opportunity here to able to bring this game onto blockchain allowing players to actually play the game they love and also earn income as well Wow, that sounds pretty cool, huh? All right, so tell me, Dwayne, I'm personally, I'm actually quite into cryptocurrency and NFT, but you know, it is the very first time that I've heard about a mobile game that is on the blockchain. You know, there's, you know, I think this is the first mobile game that is based on the blockchain. So how does it feel? And why did it inspire you to build a mobile game on the blockchain? 
Yeah, so actually it comes from personal story. I've been playing uh, Dota since I'm really, really young and I've been playing and until now, it never gets bored, right? It's so fun and so addictive and it's also a problem because you spend too much time playing it, right? And uh, that's, I think a lot of uh, parents are really concerned about their kids playing. But right now, you know, the inspiration came about is that the idea of able to play the game we love but make income out of it, right? Uh, we make a living out of it. And that really took uh, God, gathered the team together to build a League of Ancient. And many people around the world, the whole world resonated with uh, our idea, right? Uh, of, you know, creating a whole new movement of bringing mobile game onto blockchain, allowing people to play the game they love and also make income as well. Okay, so where is your team based at? Just one ring. Yeah, we are actually based in Malaysia and uh, we are all come from various industries from uh, blockchain development, game development, uh, marketing and myself, I'm a crypto enthusiast. Yeah, we, we got together to work on this project. Cool, so are most of your team members Malaysian? Yes, mostly. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's rare to actually hear of Malaysians working on a crypto game and I'm so hyped that I've met someone here that led a team of Malaysians to build a blockchain-based game, all right? So, what is the vision that your team have on League of Ancients and what is the future that you guys have planned for the gamers? Yeah, I'm always aspired to become a pro player in, in playing mobile game, right? Uh, I wish that I could really be, make a professional of it, but we all know that it's a really, really tough industry. Like only the top 1% of people really make income out playing the game they love. And you know, the idea of League of Ancient, um, our vision here is that we truly want to empower everyone to actually have the equal opportunity to play the game they love and also make a living out of it, right? And can develop passion, skills, and they are being rewarded for it as well. And we want to create a game with really, really good quality experience, unlike any other NFT mobile games. Cool. We talked about earning and playing at the same time. So what can users get out of League of Ancients? Yeah, so I think the, the thing that we want to focus on is really players' adoption and people like like the idea of playing mobile game on, on the blockchain. And right now, it's the game to be free to play. So everyone has that ability to try the game, play the game, experience the game, and develop interest and passion in the game. It's also play to, free to play, play to earn, right? So they can actually play our game and earn some of our tokens. And also, in a way, they can start collecting our NFTs as well in terms of their yeah, cosmetic skins. It will be in an NFT form and that will allow them to earn even more uh, as they play the game. Okay, cool. So I think we mentioned the term NFT a couple of times. You know, we keep talking about NFT. So we know the term is called non-fungible token. Now, I think a lot of you guys, including me myself, we are still not 100% clear of what NFT is all about. So perhaps, Dwayne, can you shed some light on what NFT is and how it is being used in League of Ancients? Yeah, uh, I, I can share a very uh, layman term uh, way of explaining it. Uh, I think uh, many people have saw in the news that NFTs are being sold over 500 million and sold in seconds and a huge quantity of it, right? But why, why is this so much value? So the idea of NFT is really to have the player, to have the ability to fully own these digital assets, right? To fully own this NFT these digital assets, like for example, you play mobile game right now, like you play any games in, in the market, uh, you, you actually spend money buying cosmetics, you buy skins, and all these are digital assets like virtuals, right? You, you, you can't touch it, but it's, it's owned by the game developer, right? And uh, right now, right, when you have NFT, you allow the player to actually own their own skins, right? You, you can actually store in their own wallet, and it's kind of like property, right? A physical assets where you can actually, you own it, you can actually lend it out. Uh, you can also sell the property. You can actually use it for your own use as well. Same thing in terms of NFT. This assets is in form of digital, but you can actually, uh, you own it. You can use it to play the game and you can also trade it and you can sell it. And also potentially in the future, you can also rent it out as well. Wow, I can rent out my asset in the game. That, yeah. that sounds that sounds pretty cool. So I can decide whatever amount I want I want to rent. Is yeah, that, it's, is it's actually like that? belongs to you, right? Because you you fully own the assets. But if you are playing in the normal normal typical game, right? All these assets, the money, the thousands of dollars that you spend on skins, gaming assets, all these belongs to like the game developer, right? So right now, actually, it decentralized the digital assets, and it can fully owned by the players themselves, and they can actually trade it in the marketplace. And as the game grows. 
Uh, currently, right now, there are over more than 300 million mobile players right now, and it's one of the top preferred genre in the market as well. As more people actually adopt uh, blockchain in terms of playing mobile games, right, the demand of the NFT will slowly, slowly increase as the value, like property, right, uh, as because the population of uh, a country keep growing, and that's why the property value in certain countries grows as well. And you can actually sell it, right, and you can make a capital gain out of it. So you're no longer about spending money while playing game, but you're actually investing. Or I'll say like, uh, you know, you can actually earning out of collecting these NFTs and also playing the game that you really like. So before we wrap this session up, Dwayne, what do you have to say to our audience and future LA gamers? Yeah, I think uh, right now in League of Asians is not just a normal game. I, we do see that we are creating a whole entire movement where we want to bring uh, mobile game lovers onto blockchain where you can play mobile game and you can actually make earning as well, right? Uh, we would like to empower everyone that will have passion in terms of playing games. Right now, you are able to empower to actually make a living. You can actually start collecting NFTs and own these assets and you can trade and sell in the marketplace as well. And right now, we are just at the starting stones and our game will be launching in uh, quarter three for the testing and official launch on the quarter four. Um, um, do follow us and check us out. And I think that there's so much more exciting things that will be coming. Yeah, I think right now the message across to all gamers and also to LOA community as well is that uh, we are just uh, as a stepping stone and uh, we are creating a whole new movement where we want to bring mobile gamers and gamers to, onto the blockchain world where you're able to play the game that you really, really love and you develop passion, you develop interest and uh, you can start actually collecting NFTs, investing and also make a living out of it. Do follow us on Lake of Ancient and there will be more progress of the game development that's going on and for those participation in the competition happening in these three days, uh, all the best and stay tuned. So there you have it. Lake of Ancients will be launched in the third quarter of 2022 and I'm sure you are as excited as me and can't wait to play the game and start earning LOA tokens. For more information, please stay tuned for more updates on the official Discord and Telegram channel of Lake of Ancients or visit the website at www.lakeofancients.com. That's it for now and we'll see you in LOA. Bye! And that's wrap yung kanilang interview. And then again, if you want more updates para sa League of Ancients, don't forget to subscribe dito sa channel ko. So every week, meron na tayong um, update para kay League of Ancients. Siguro guys, hanggang dito na lang. Ingat kayo lagi, mahal na mahal ko kayo. See you again in my next videos.